All right, so the draw is complete. Time to break things down. Of course, we're going to start with the United States placed in Group B. They are matched up with England, Iran, and the European playoff winner. You go back to 2010, the U.S. also in the group with England. The U.S. won that group, eliminated in the round of 16 as far as their history with Iran. Lex, you were there in France, 1998. Things did not go well. U.S. in the group with Germany, Yugoslavia, Iran, the U.S. finishing fourth in that group. And then The European playoff winner. So the U.S. knows that they're going to have two European foes. That spot will be occupied by either Scotland, Ukraine, or Wales. The winner of Scotland, Ukraine, to take on Wales. The world, most of the world at least, will certainly be cheering for Ukraine should they advance here. So um, you could make a case, by the way, if this is Wales that goes through, that this is your group of death. It would be four nations inside the top 21 as far as the FIFA rankings are concerned. You can discuss the FIFA rankings all you want right now. But, Mo, I'll start with you. Your initial reaction to the U.S. in Group B. I'm okay with it. I think when you look at the the way that we were talking pregame about who you'd want to face in these games, you got your wish list. England's in there. Uh, you know, Bring Iran, it. I think, will be a, a definitely a motivating game, talking about the 1998 result there. And then the, whoever wins that European game, whether it's Wales, Ukraine, or Scotland, I think the U.S. will look at this, be confident about the draw that they have. But now it's about figuring things out. And the mentality of this group that they had going through qualifying was game by game. You have to have that same approach now. They're going to start focusing on that first European uh, contender. But overall, I'm, I'm okay with this result. Love it. I love it. Um, I think that all the games are, are winnable. You talked about the, uh, the England. Um, you know, Iran was the second game in 1998. Uh, the, uh, certainly a game that they can win in the second game uh, that they're, they're, they're probably going to play. And then all of, the, all of the three teams in terms of that, uh, that fourth position there, whether, whether it's Scotland or whether it's Wales or whether it's Ukraine, um, it's got a very 98 feel because mm-hmm. that would that have been Germany put in place of England, right? Iran, Iran, uh, and then Yugoslavia for any one of these uh, these three teams. But for this particular U.S. team, I think Greg Berhalter has to be sitting in his seat right now going, there is a pathway out. Yeah, and also he's saying we need to find some European competition yep. Yep. immediately. So, Easier said than done. So the U.S. will open up the World Cup. On the opening day of the tournament, Monday, November 21st, they will take on that Euro playoff winner, Game 2, Friday, November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. And they conclude group play on Tuesday, November 29th. One note, the winners of Group A take on the second place in Group B. Second winner of Group B takes on the second place in Group A. Group A, of course, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself, but clearly that's what Greg Berhalter has his mind on, is getting out of the group and moving on.